guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 3 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's Made Dragons. It's gonna get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hey, Saikawa. Oh, this is cute. Oh. <laughs> Honey, I, I don't really think it's the- you two are the only two here. I feel like Itadu is somewhere around here. She's in the bathroom. Come on now. <laughs> Ain't she? Sorry, baby. <laughs> Can we also talk about the fact that <laughs> this is about to be stupid and say, still, it's been, she's been living with them for a week now, and so she's been stuck in the bathroom and such. <laughs> Kobayashi, how many bathrooms you got in your house? No, I, okay, no. Strike that. How many toilets you got in the house? <laughs> oh, God. There's probably not enough toilets for all y'all. There's now four people that live in this damn house. <laughs> this small house. Not even a house. It's an apartment. See, this is now time for them, you know, Kobayashi, it's time to move out. It's time to move out. You got four people living up in this bitch. You need a house, house. <laughs> oh, God. A while, probably. Yeah. Psycho. <laughs> You gonna pay like Uno or something? Do you wanna play? You sure? Okay. No, I just think Edidu is just still a loner. Yeah, but you didn't. Okay, well, yeah, at the time you kind of meant to, but I mean. Oh, honey. Yeah. 
Psycho. Oh. <laughs> No, honey. Basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we all do something like that. No. <laughs> hey, you two. How was your shopping date? Oh, are they sleeping? I don't know if that's passion, Toru. Do you want her to wear something else? Elma. No, <laughs> uh. oh, Kobayashi, don't be sorry.
And I think, you know, Toru wants one that's hell of revealing, right? Did you eat all of them? Damn. Mm. But Kobayashi... Yeah, Kobayashi doesn't have... <laughs> mm. Yeah, it looks perfect. It's not too bad. simple and sometimes simple is best hmm. oh that blue one's pretty You might as well show them. What's up? Mm. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean, damn, look how much money kind of got. Are gonna dance? <laughs> yeah. No, you got it. <laughs> oh, nice. Very detailed. Maybe the time consuming, possibly, or just the journey of making one. Mm. Hey, Kana. Yeah, what do you like to do for fun? Oh, like that one girl who was playing the game with the shark thing? Yeah, that one anime that I haven't watched yet with the cute girl. <laughs> Toru, really? I mean, yeah, because that girl in that anime had that problem, too. Hey, editor, what do you do? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, sleeping is kind of a hobby, especially, you know, when you're busy. <laughs> Can Kobayashi even sing,
Can you imagine if these kids played the game of life? Oh my god. Like a fucking, um, Kagi Sama. <laughs> and now fucking <laughs> Shiddle was like, guys, I am great to many. Kagi, <laughs> no, we got the Yuri. <laughs> Okay, can we just talk about the fact is that Toru didn't really have a hobby until she thought of everything about Kobayashi. Yes, you know, once again, Toru's world just revolves around Kobayashi. If it's something about Kobayashi or anything, she can read a book or make a damn book all about Kobayashi and she would just read it <laughs> over and over and over again. This girl made damn paintings. Oh my god. <laughs> I was expecting it to be the other way around where we were actually going to hear Kobayashi sing. Because, I mean, like, funny enough, like, see, did her say you sing in Healing a Pretty Care? No, we didn't really have a moment where her say you sing as a bad guy. I would have liked it, though, because I feel like her say you possibly sings. I'm not sure. Maybe. But. <laughs> It's cute. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, of course it is, Loka. Yeah, that's far from here. I think that's almost like, well, yeah, because that, mm, that is my hobby a lot, too. Because... I play too many fucking games. I mean, psh, let's not talk about my phone. My phone, <laughs> my phone has too many fucking rhythm slash gotcha games. And then I'm just now getting back into Genshin because one of my favorite seiyus officially is now in the damn game. And I was like, oh, we're going to try to get her today. I don't think she's going to come home because since this is officially like day one for her and then my other one of, like, I think my second or third favorite say you she's coming soon as well but I'm guessing she's coming um specifically after the Hayek has a uh, banner and such and then I feel like once these two guards are gone they're never coming back so it's like <laughs> right up is a lie every single fucking time and it's because like uh, don't get me started on fucking Bunzity or Idolmaster or fucking D4DJ because once again right up is a motherfucking lie like I don't care how many times like if you get 75k or 30,000k you are not going to have enough to get every single fucking card you want specifically for those gotcha cards because it's like you know it's a big old fuck you like oh my god <laughs> but other than that shit i mean this was a honestly really good episode of course every episode is good as fuck i love the fact that you know it started out with kana and psycho because i mean we we got like a little bit of them like last week but you know to start the episode out with these two and psycho i thinking oh my god we're alone i didn't know editu is just hiding in the bathroom and you know once again we got another week of editu just being adorable as hell and damn she might even have like she, she's kind of trump and best girl because i mean straight up like all i really hear is the girl from lapis relights and the character from slow start that she played but i really i really hear more of the character from lapis relights because they both kind of act very similar and her character in slow start is really more like bubbly and cheerful and such so to go from to have her like most like what starting role being bubbly and cheerful um to 
playing an emo android <laughs> to playing, you know, a badass dragon, but then a little bit of a sad dragon at the same time. And so it's just sweet. And I'm like really happy for her. I do. <laughs> I just really wish we got to hear Kobayashi sing how seeing Kobayashi in the maid outfit was cute, whether it was the pink one or it was just really Toru's. But I, you know, I understand like how she felt, especially with the fact is, you know, she wanted to wear something cute. Um, family was making fun of her or wanting to do in cosplay, and this is that the third. It's kind of almost like what, when, God, what the heck just happened? That was weird. Um, when we all reach a certain age for us girls and like, especially when we get older and, you know, we get assets and ish and we're trying to dress like professional or cute or whatever, like for an example with me, um, <laughs> and because of my assets, any shirt that I wear instantly looks sexual and it, it's, <laughs> it, it's so fucked up because I'm not trying to be. I'm trying to just be a regular old chick just sitting here watching something or just a regular old chick going to Walmart or Target and walking around and 5 out of 10 I will always see a guy staring at my boobs and it's because once again they're just there and it's worse when you're wearing like a like if I'm wearing a really nice cute little shirt like it could be just a regular shirt like this or it could be any other graphic tee and it just, <laughs> you see the way the graphic tee looks, and then when you put it on, you know, because you got big freaking boobs, the graphic tee just goes, shit. <laughs> You're just like, I wasn't trying to be sexual today. I'm just here. And it's just like, yeah, it, it, it's like the same thing with Asabi Asabi, say, but that one episode of What's Her Face, where she was like, I want this shirt. And then you get the shirt, and it's like, great, it looks highly sexual on me, and the character on the shirt looks like they're about to, like, get ripped apart. <laughs> like, straight up. Also, seeing them play, like, well, Monopoly. Very interesting. Still would have loved to see the game of life, though. But, you know, maybe in, like, two, three weeks from now. But I thought it was a really interesting idea to, you know, have everybody come over, figure out, like, Kobayashi wearing a main outfit, <laughs> freaking Toru singing about Kobayashi, because... Kobayashi. That's all I have to say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 3 of season 2 of Miss Kobayashi's May Dragon. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Wednesday for episode 4. Bye, guys!